And how is everybody doing today? I hope everybody is doing just fine and welcome to the channel. If you haven't seen the Jeep Man King channel before, welcome. And uh, for all my subscribers out there, welcome back for some more boat projects because man, we've always got something going on. <laughs> so anyhow, what we're gonna be doing today is if you go back to my channel, you'll see how I redid the V-birth area. Not only did I do the ceiling tile that's in there, but also repainted all the walls in there, which is really nice. Um, it has made that look so much brighter and fresher and for basically very little cost. And I think that's probably the most important thing is that you can do a lot of boat projects and make your boat look a lot newer and updated just by doing some things that do not actually cost a lot of money. So what am I doing today? Well, I'm finishing up, man. That's, I've got some things to do. So. Here's the paint I'm using. Um, it is a Valspar Signature eggshell interior paint and it's got primer built into it, which is really nice. Now, everybody knows paint's ridiculously expensive nowadays. So I think this right here is like 42 bucks a gallon. But I tell you what, one coat pretty much does it all. And that's gonna save me some time. And if we can do that, hey, it's well worth it. So I went ahead and uh, took off all the trim pieces that go along the, the top here and the corners and everything else. And if you go to my channel, you'll see that I actually took out a wall right here. There was a wall that went on up to the ceiling. There was a sliding door that actually closed off the V-berth, but by taking that out, has made that look so much bigger and so much more airflow and so much brighter, which we really like. But with that, I've got some little areas here on the wall. This is where a trim piece was, as you can see. And I've got a couple screws that we're going to be putting some painter's caulk in and that we're going to be able to paint those and fill those up just fine. You'll never know it's there, but I just want you to look at the wall. Um, as you can see, really can't leave it like that, but with us redoing the V-birth area and repainting that, it is going to also, we're going to do the rest of it. So we'll do this. We got this wall right here and we've got right here that we're going to be redoing. And swing back around, we've got this wall here. And also in the galley area, we've got a couple, we're gonna do this here and also one right here. Now we're gonna be doing this, so come along and uh, you'll be able to see what a refresh. If I like it, my wife Veronica, she likes it even better. So that makes my day and it'll make her day. So come on, let's check it out, you do it. If you've ever painted a wall in a house, you know that you're always gonna have a few little pinholes from picture frames or whatever else you got to do hanging on your walls. So it's not a big deal. Just go through, same process. Just push it in the hole the best you can and then move on to the next hole. And what I like to do is if you've got some screw holes that when you take a screw out, you're always gonna have a little bit of a raised area. Either it's on drywall or on like this here. This is a three quarter inch plywood. You're always gonna have a little recessed area where that screw pushes the material out. What I like to do is take the round tip of a screwdriver, you put that on the hole and you push on it really hard and you twist it. And what that does is that actually will make that nice and smooth that'll push back the drywall or like this has got a uh, it's like a really thick wallpaper don't know what you call it on a boat but it's something like that but it'll actually finish that off really good and you won't have any raised surface so it makes your paint turn out awesome so anyhow we'll go through and we'll fill up the rest of these holes
Now it's nice with uh, a piece of trim that runs there. I don't have to tape that off and I don't have to get super close. And that is gonna save me a lot of time. It took me a few minutes to take the trim pieces off, but man, I'll do that any day for sure. Some of you may, might be wondering, why don't I use a roller? Well, I forgot it. So, I'll use a paintbrush. <laughs> and it does take you a little bit longer <laughs> oh well oh well and when you get paint on your trim Got a wet rag there. Try to get it off. As fast as you can. Tell you what, this is some really good paint. It, I mean, sticks to everything. Everything. And it sticks very well. That's for sure. Always, instead of spending all the time trying to tape around all your trim pieces or switches and access doors, just go ahead and take them off because it's going to save you a lot of time and it's really not worth using all that painter's tape just to, what well, takes just a few minutes to actually take some screws out. What I did here is I just went ahead and took the panel out. I'm not going to disconnect anything, but it gives me about two inches that I can get in behind there with a brush and I don't have to worry about getting any paint on my cover also up here with my air conditioner controller same thing i've got it pulled out about two or three inches just makes it so much easier And just so you guys know, what I've got is a uh, little art brush. I'm going to use that to do all my trim out once I get really close to my trim. Nice to have.
All right, everybody, so we got all the interior painting done on all the walls and uh, started sanding the countertop. Her, well, the top here, that's gonna be painted and all the B-Birth, it's been all painted. Sidewalls and where the galley table is at the side and that side as well. And really turned out really nice. That there behind the, the steps is done. The galley, um, all this has been done. Getting ready to put all that back together. And inside the head is done as well. And we've got all of that done. So that is perfect. Uh, getting ready to, to we're gonna be sanding this countertop down along with this countertop. And that's gonna be the next video. So stay tuned because we've got more to come and a few more projects to do and then we're gonna be going through and dewinterizing everything and getting this little boat ready to roll for the summer so stay tuned guys god bless you and we'll see you soon with more boat projects and a little bit of everything else catch you later bye